Hello brothers of the Imperium and welcome back to another video. So as the title states, this is another lore update video. But this time, instead of focusing on a chapter or a certain battle, we're actually going to be focusing on war zones that are taking part across the galaxy. For example, Krieg, we all know Krieg, this radioactive wasteland of just bayoneting and killing, that now has orcs into that situation, which could be very, very interesting when it comes to the Kriegers fighting um, not only themselves, but the orcs as well. So um, let's jump in and let's go through all these scenarios. A massive shout out to Shikaius for providing all the information that I'm going to be talking about in this video. He has a subreddit. I would recommend for you to join it. It's a fantastic place. Link is located in the description of this video. So let's start with the world of Katajan. Now we all know Katajan is a death world. It is a jungle death world. There's a lot of awful stuff on Katajan. Now since the opening of the Great Rift, Katajan has come under repeated invasion and attacks from chaos and orc warbands. The former seeks to prey on the people of Katajan and deny the Imperium a source of manpower. The latter were vomited from the warp and just sought to have a good fight. The Katajan jungle fighters have proved their mettle again and again against their invaders, yet fresh waves of invaders keep descending on the planet with each passing day, resulting in endless jungle warfare the world of armageddon now this one is the interesting one for me because i predict we're going to see some big things happen to armageddon there's a lot of talk about potential primarchs coming back around this world two primarchs vanished in armageddon vulcan and angron i say angron vanished he was banished but vulcan definitely disappeared on the planet of armageddon so the new law for armageddon states the war on armageddon has taken a darker turn the expanding chaos rift in the north of the pole is spreading chaos corruption across the planet cults are beginning to spring up among the civilian population and imperial guard worse the word bearers and the alpha legion and other chaos warbands have been spotted operating in armageddon's jungles they are raising shrines to their dark gods and spreading the taint further finding themselves beset by chaos mutated plant life both orcs and imperials struck back at the followers of chaos rescuing their comrades from chaos altars and demolishing chaos shrines wherever they can find them yet the spread of chaos continues it's only a matter of time before the jungles will need to be burned out the planet of mordian has seen a lot of of action as well. Mordian produces the Mordian Iron Guard, one of the most badass guard regiments that the Imperium has to have. And this states Mordian is a world locked in place. One side is exposed to the sun's killing fires, and the other dwells in perpetual night. In the latter, does Mordian's population live? When the Great Rift was spawned, reality rifts erupted in the planet's solar wastelands. The demons were untroubled by the extreme temperatures. They crossed the planet's fixed terminator to attack the night side as hidden chaos cultists and traitor marines emerged and attacked the mordian hides from within the desperate battle that followed almost brought mordian to its knees before the indominus crusade arrived the imperials managed to push the forces of chaos back across the terminator line but it wasn't over yet because the forces of chaos provided to be resourceful they used technology and demon magic to shield themselves from the the killer solar fires allowing the war to rage on to protect themselves from the series of invasions from the planet's day side the mordians constructed defenses and fortifications along the planet's terminator line the mordians fight hard to protect their holdings but more than once the enemy has broken through and poured into the mordian hives inflicting terrible damage and subjecting the population to many days of horror and slaughter before they are driven back and next up is Krieg. Krieg is, of course, now a fan favourite. I think Krieg probably has most of the fans now when it comes to the Imperial Guard because of the gas mask, the bayonet, and their way of warfare. So the law states, Krieg, the Imperium's most infamous and bleakest war world, found itself under attack after the birth of the Great Rift. The initial waves of traitors were dispatched with ease. So when Chaos landed, they just knocked them off. They're like, get out of here, Chaos. This is Krieg. We are Kriegers. You can't stand here. 
it would not be so for what came next. While Iron Skull descended on Krieg, the immense orc invasion bringing with it a spearhead of six million, six bloody million blood axe orcs. Shells ceaselessly fall night and day as the orcs and the death core clash on the planet-wide tank and trench warfare so that's it the orcs are now officially on krieg do you think the blood axes have the numbers have the power to um overthrow um the death code of krieg i would love to see people's comments on that i'd actually love to see like um a war zone book dedicated uh, dedicate to this now possibly get you know some plastic um, uh, uh, death corpse of Krieg models that people have been bloody wanting for so long and finally we're going to talk about Bellius Corona um, yes Corona is, is just it's just coincidence uh, this has always been around this is an Imperial Navy base located near the Eye of Terror so it says during the 30th Black Crusade the dockyards of Bellius Corona and the planet itself were invaded by a massive Black Legion force led by one of Abaddon's most trusted commanders their objective was to cripple the Imperial Navy and take out an important supply center in one strike. Beneath the planet's lifeless surface was a labyrinth of catacombs and megavolts filled to the brim with Navy weapons and supplies. The traitor marine's initial assault on the megavolt slaughtered thousands of Imperial defenders and pushed far. However, they were sustaining casualties higher than expected, as the Cadians formed a ad hoc kill teams that used the environments to their advantage. Fearing the wrath of Abaddon, um, the, his lieutenant called upon the Dark Mech allies to unleash a scrap code on the Megavolts. The scrap code corrupted the machine spirits of the defense systems and the servitor population, infusing them with bloodlust. The Imperials found themselves attacked by screaming servitors and targeted by their own turrets. The underground war zone turned bloodier as the guardsmen were getting crushed and brutalized by the industrial machinery. Despite this, the stubborn Imperials continued to fight on on both sides, uh, refusing to uh, relinquish their gains while fighting the most horrendous conditions possible. Hats off to uh, the Imperial Guard for absolutely taking a beating and still going forward. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you want to read this for yourself, again, it's over on Shakaius' Reddit, but if you want to read it officially from GW, then all you need to do is pick up the latest Kill Team um, book because it's uh, it's all in the new Kill Zones. That's where all this lore has changed and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, go and check it out for yourself. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and we can have a nice little chat down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.